Hey guys, welcome to my collab tutorial for GPen. In this collab tutorial, you'll learn how to use GPen, which is this research you are looking at right now. And yet, they didn't provide an official collab, so I've written it myself. Um, so we will not be using the official version of their GitHub. We'll be going over to this one and I'll be linking this specific GitHub page down in the description so it wouldn't confuse you but credits all go to um, the author Tao Yang and many others so yeah so all you have to do is to get to my page and you scroll down and you'll see usage and you just see run it on collab so all you have to do is press on this button open and collab so to make everything tidy and easy to run first uh, you can press this specific down thing it'll collapse everything here and then you open the files here and then you want to press this button and you just press run anyways it'll take quite a bit of time if it takes more than 10 minutes though you should um, restart the runtime by pressing factory reset runtime and then press the button again and that's only the case if this runs over 10 minutes so after this finished running you can look um, here you'll see gpen here if you don't see gpen try refreshing it and yeah you press on this folder and you will want to go to examples and you see there are four folders here images out grays coots and these two are for um face enhancement.py so the inputs will be images and the outputs will be in outs and for the face colorization test the inputs will be the grays and then output will be the coots coots yes so it already has some images in it. So survey, conference, yeah. So you can just drag whatever images you want. So I'm gonna just drag mine into here, images here. And just press okay. It just says that it will get deleted if the runtime is finished. So that one is for phase enhancement. So all you need to do is after dragging it inside here, press this. It will run on any images you put inside the images folder. Uh, the same goes for colorization later. So all you have to do is to move all your images that you want to make enhance or colorize into that folder just and then press this button. Once this is done, you can go to outs and find um, your result. So underscore comp means that it's the comparison. So you'll see two versions of it and then gpen is just a single image after you're running through gpen and the face underscore face zero zero is the very first faces that they found so this is the first face that they found which is the only face so you can look to um the survey is that how you say it there will be quite a lot of faces since the photo itself contains a lot of people so you can see the result is this picture and yeah so there are 19 20 28 people in total so you can see 28 faces and then you can see all their comparisons. Yeah, pretty amazing. So it's the same thing goes for um, the colorization I'll show you guys. So you just move to the grays. It'll turn into grayscale first, then convert into colorized photo. But um, the performance in cells may not be as good, but you can test it yourself too. And after that is done, uh, you can go to coots and then find your 2w.jpg which is the one I put in and then it will be colorized here uh, it does not upscale I mean it does not enhance so you probably need to put the enhanced version inside here or uh, just an image that doesn't need enhance so yeah that's that's it if you want to run new images you just do the same thing you can remove photos by delete file and then so you don't have to run the same files over and over again if you want to run on new images. Yeah, so that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what I'm doing, you can consider supporting me on my Patreon. And if you have any questions, you can head over to my Discord channel, link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.